Hi, this is Michael with Iconesis. Today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video shooting 360 product photography of a toy using our medium USB turntable, 360 acrylic riser, 360 LumiPad lighting kit, as well as a Canon DSLR camera, which I've connected via USB, and I've enabled Live View through our Shutterstream 360 application. As you can see, my hand going back and forth. Um, Okay, so the first thing that we can do while in live view mode is adjust all our camera settings to optimize for uh, optimize exposure for our lighting environment. And as we make changes, uh, we're going to actually see those results in real time. So what we want to do is just shoot at maximum color accuracy, and that looks quite good there. Um, so we'll use those settings for our shoot today. Uh, the other thing that we can do is adjust our focal point. Uh, we can see it looks a little bit blurry here. And what I can start to do is start to bring my object back into focus by clicking these near and far arrows. So I selected my focal point. Um, that again will remain fixed as, along with my camera settings. Um, the next step will be to move into the 360 shooting mode and I want to pre-rotate my turntable. Um, I do want to visually ensure that I position my object in the center of the turntable. Also the other thing I'd like to do is as my object rotates 360, I would like to set and predefine my crop area, meaning that it's only going to take a picture of what's inside this rectangle that I define. So we'll sit back and it looks like we've done a pretty good job so far at uh, positioning the object in the center of the turntable. And we might just slightly adjust our crop marker as our object turns to ensure again it doesn't fall outside of that cropped area. Okay, so that looks quite good there. <clears throat> my next step is going to be to just stop my turntable at my first shooting point, select the number of frames I wish to shoot per 360. Users can shoot up to 72 frames. I'll choose 24 for the purpose of this demo. Then I'll simply hit start. Now that's going to automate our imaging sequence in a turn, stop, snap workflow. And as images are captured, they're going to be transferred from our camera into the included Shutterstream 360 application for instant review. Again, we're shooting 24 frames. This process is going to take about two minutes. Okay, so we're nearing completion of our 360 imaging sequence. Again, we shot 24 frames. We will be notified from the application once completion. Next, we'll select all our images using the batch select tool and enter into our editing mode. Inside of editing, we do have a vast suite of tools that allow users to adjust color adjust image enhancements as well as uh, as well as uh, automatically remove background so my first thing I've increased my sharpness and just made a couple little uh, level changes and I'm gonna hit apply to all and in a batch process that's gonna race through the entire set of images and apply those editing changes to each one of the images Okay, great. So there we go. We have all our images. We can inspect them. We can see here using our eyedropper tool on the top right uh, and inspect to see that each one of our images is instantly on a pure white background, 255, 255, 255 RGB. We also do have a good background removal tool that allows users to, so let me just kind of uh, quickly explain this. I'm going to automatically remove backgrounds using a, a solid color. So I'm going to say all the whites in my frame, what I want it to do is automatically extract those from the actual um, from the actual image so we can go and inspect and see kind of the preview that area area that's blinking gray is what's automatically being cut out again I'm gonna hit apply to all and we're gonna see here it's gonna race through and automatically cut this product from its background to give us a transparent background Now we've completed our uh, background extraction process and we can see here, inspect the images, everything looks quite good. Um, my next step will be to output my images. Um, if I'm outputting JPEG, I can fully choose what background I want using our alpha blending options and choose my background color inside of here. I'll just choose white as the default. I'll go into my batch saving mode, I'll rename my file and I'll call this uh, just toy dash it's going to batch rename sequentially 0 1 through 24 I can also choose the battery size maybe I want all these at say a thousand pixels wide I'll choose my save to location and I will hit OK now if I did want to output these images with the transparent background we do have options for t 
TIFF as well as PNG output in which the uh, the transparent background would be would be uh, maintained. And now that we've output our set of images, I'm going to go into the included 360 View Creator application to create our 360 product view. I'll select my 24 images, drag and drop, and we'll be able to see in just a few seconds we've created our interactive 360 view in HTML5 format. These are fully customizable. Users can adjust the uh, overall size. Output, for instance, we output this at, let's say, 1,000 pixels tall. OK, looks good. Um, users can also adjust their buttons, you know, the, the player style, the spin direction, speed, etc. So I'm just going to call this toy, and we're going to output it to the folder that we've selected here. And then we'll be able to go and view this in a local browser using the iframe again these can be self-hosted on your own server so you can easily embed them into your own website and that is the interactive 360 product view that we just output let us know if you have any questions thanks